learning inside and outside of the classroom. 40 Colgate students, a workshop, and an off-campus trip to Harlem, New York. On an early Saturday morning, students attended a mandatory educational workshop at the Alana Cultural Center. The workshop focused on entrepreneurship and wealth during the Harlem Renaissance taught by Vice President and Dean of Diversity, Dr. Keenan Grinnell. Harlem Renaissance Poets, taught by Professor Michael Coyle, and The Rise of African American Satire, taught by Mel Watkins, class of 1962. Poetically Mining, a student-run organization, recited poetry from many Harlem Renaissance greats, such as Langston Hughes, County Cullen, and Gwendolyn Bennett. Um, I really appreciated what um, all of the speakers had to say, um, especially, uh, you know, Dr. Grinnell and everything for as far as what he was saying about entrepreneurship and with the things of, that we're learning, even just as black people, even back in the times of the Harlem Renaissance. And um, one thing that he said that really stuck out to me was just the aspect of any cultural and any race, regardless of what it is that you are or claim yourself to be, that without some sort of financial background and financial grounding, you really cannot grow together as a people. The sophisticated fruits and advantages of a liberal arts education is that it gives you an opportunity to, from an interdisciplinary standpoint of view to be exposed to a lot of different perspectives. And you should be able to take those perspectives and, and craft uh, an idea of innovativeness that will allow you to flourish within a capitalist society. That's, that's the advantage that I think you have. But you've got to understand it, that you've got to package it in such a way and understand the potency of it and then unleash your own potentiality through that. Basically, I think this conference is a really good idea. Um, I think the trip is a really good idea. I think this interdisciplinary approach uh, that these different departments are taking is good. Uh, you know, if we have a Harlem Renaissance Center, if we have a cultural center, why not have us actually learn about the Harlem Renaissance? Why not let us actually invoke some of the, the voices of the Harlem Renaissance? And uh, it was great that we were able to participate through Poetically Minded and actually share some of the words of uh, the people of the Harlem Renaissance. So, why are we going to Harlem? It's not about history in the sense that history is stuff that happened a long time ago and it's dead. This is about, it's about heritage. It's about a tradition that's still alive and that's still changing and that's still taking shape. We'll go to Harlem and we'll see the physical traces of what was, but a, a big part of the trip is learning the things that, that we talked about in our, our little seminar this morning. Um, Poetry, those poems aren't dead, those poems are still alive. What do they mean today? What they mean today basically is what, what new readers, new generations of readers make of them. It's readers who keep poems alive. It's readers who keep the tradition alive. It's living souls that keep any tradition alive. So we're, we're going to Harlem basically to, to feel that and to take a measure of that. The thing about um, Harlem, and about African Americans in general, is that uh, their, their particular pr predicament in the society, their place in the society, has led them to have a certain view of life, a common view of life. And to understand that, uh, to understand Harlem, then you need to deal with, observe the people, because the humor comes through the people. That is more important than any sight that you might see. It's the people themselves. Welcome to Harlem, New York. Colgate was led on a walking bus tour by tour guides Neil Shoemaker and Andy Owens of Harlem Heritage Tours. Traveling uptown along Malcolm X Boulevard, students saw sites and landscapes significant to Harlem culture and Harlem Renaissance history. Among the sites included on the tour was the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture, Abyssinian Baptist Church, Duke Ellington Circle, Sugar Hill, Strivers Row, the Langston Hughes House, the House of Madam C.J. Walker, Savoy Ballroom, the Cotton Club, and many others. Some landmarks have changed over the years, while others continue its legacy, such as the Apollo Theater, where stars are born and legends are made. Colgate received a personal tour of the Apollo Theater by Billy Mr. Apollo Mitchell. Their students graced the stage, touched the famous log of hope, and conducted their very own amateur night. Special recognition was paid to Colgate alum and Harlem great Dr. Reverend Adam Clayton Powell Jr., Colgate class of 1930. Powell served as Harlem's congressman from 1945 until 1971, and his legacy continues. 
The Harlem Experience concluded with a delicious soulful dinner at world famous Amy Roots restaurant. Joining the festivities were 20 Colgate alumni residing in the New York City area and Sashmo Manan's jazz band. Students mixed and mingled with alumni as they shared their Colgate experiences. The Harlem Renaissance Project has become a catalyst for future initiatives. The faculty, staff, and students have continued dialogue about creating an interdisciplinary and extended study course in the near future. The course is intended to be linked with the living learning community of the Harlem Renaissance Center, and this initiative would hopefully become the first of many collaborations to expand the COE curriculum. Don't tell me